In this video, we'll talk about polymorphism. So when you talk about object-oriented programming, we have talked about classes, objects, because if you want to create the object, we have to create a blueprint and that is done with the help of classes. Then we have seen the next important thing, which is inheritance, where one class can inherit the properties or the behavior from the other class, right? Now, let's focus on the next concept, which is polymorphism. Now, what exactly is polymorphism? So it's one thing, multiple forms. That's what poly, which, which, which means many, and morphism means forms, so many forms. Now, in real life also, as an object, we behave differently, right? So example, uh, when I make videos, maybe I look like extrovert, but I'm introvert in real life. I don't talk much, but my behavior changes based on where I am. So if I'm at my home, I behave differently. When I am with my colleagues in the office, I behave differently. When I'm with my friends, I behave differently, right? So that is multiple behavior, same person, but multiple behavior. So in programming as well when you want to when you want to have one particular type it can behave differently based on the implementation or where it is and to understand that let's look at the implementation now there are multiple way of implementing polymorphism in python one of the way is through duct typing and that's what we're going to focus in this video so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to create a new file and i will name this as poly.py uh, name can be anything but let's stick to it and now uh, to understand duct typing, let's create a class. In fact, uh, okay, let's talk about duct typing, what exactly duct typing is. So as per definition of duct typing, if a bird quacks like a duck, it is a duck. What I, what I mean by that is, of course, duck quacks, right? But what about the other birds? Let's say if we talk about crow. If the crow quacks, I will treat that crow as a duck. If there's a sparrow, and if a sparrow can also do quacks, I will call it as a duck. That's what duck typing is. To understand this, let me create a class, let's say laptop. I know from birds we went to machines, but that's how uh, technology works. Uh, so we got a class here and this class laptop will have a method called build. Uh, because as a, as a developer, we when we use laptop, we build stuff with it. So I will say build and let's print something here. I'll say laptop builds. I know that what that means, but anything we can print there. Now, who uses laptop? Of course, everyone in the world for different purpose, they use laptop. But for me, as a programmer, and I call programmers as aliens, we normally use laptop to code. Now, when I say code, I'm, I'm saying building projects. Okay, It can be uh, designing the applications, uh, writing code for it, testing it, maintaining it. Everything comes under code. Uh, that's a simple word to use. And then we'll say print. And here we'll say alien building. And in this building, I made a spelling mistake. And that's why it was not building, it was something else. Now, of course, right, if you want to write a code, you need to have a machine, right? So that's your laptop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call build from here. So when I am writing code, of course, I want to build and I need a machine for that. But you can't call build directly. You need to pass the object of a laptop here. So I will call this as a machine. And even we can also specify the type of it. The type of this machine is a laptop. Okay, so this is how you specify the type for a particular variable. Okay. Uh, now, can you call this build? So let me try. I will say machine dot build. And it is able to call it. But then if you want to really make it work, you need to first create the object of alien. And I will say Naveen. Naveen is an alien. That's the object. And using Naveen, I can call code. But then in this code, I have to pass something. If you directly call code, it will not work. Let me show you. I will clear the screen. And I will say Python. The file name is poly.py. And if I say enter now, it is giving you an error. It says required one parameter, but I'm not passing it. I have to pass machine. I don't have a machine here. So what I will do is I will build one. I will say laptop. So the machine which I use personally is Asus ROG. Uh, it's not sponsored by them. I hope they will do it in some day. But if uh, people from Asus are watching this, please sponsor. Okay, so Asus ROG and I'm creating a laptop object here. And now I can pass. So if I want to build, I need Asus ROG. Provided I'm pronouncing the company name properly. And now if I run this, it works. You can see it says alien building and then laptop builds. That's what we are doing. So we are printing alien building and then we are calling build, which prints this. Perfectly works, right? And still we have not talked about duck typing. See, imagine this laptop for us is a duck. Okay, so we are expecting a duck here. 
So when you're, whenever someone says, hey, you need to build, it will use laptop, but then I want it to quack. So it will say dark. But then let's say, if you join a company, of course, some companies have a policy, they will give machines to the people, right, who joins. Now, this can be a laptop, this can be a desktop. And in laptop also, you can have a heavy machines or a light machine based on your, the kind of work you do. Of course, if you're using Docker, if you're using uh, any heavy applications, you need heavy machines. But let's say if your works around Chrome and then Excel, light machine will do. So I will say class and let me say desktop here. And maybe company choose you choose to give desktop instead of giving a laptop. You can't say no to that, provided you, if you want. You can say no if you don't want to work there. So we, let's say we are saying desktop bills. Now my question to you is, let's say Naveen says I want to code and expecting the object of a laptop. But what if company decided to give you the desktop? So the desktop which I'm using now for the recording, it is called Beast. Black Beast actually, but let's say Beast. And uh, let's say the, this is the object of desktop. And now I can call code by passing beast, but question is, will, it, will this work? I will comment the first part, which is I'm not passing ASUS now, I'm passing the beast. Should it work? See, technically, I mean, logically, looking just at the code, it should not work because you are expecting a laptop here and you're passing a desktop. But if you run this, it works. It says desktop builds. And that's the whole concept of duck typing, where you are saying, I was expecting a duck, but now you are giving me a crow but this crow quacks, okay? So as a bird, you need to have a feature of quacking. That's it. So if you are, if you need a machine, if the machine says build, your job is done because ultimately you're calling build, okay? Just to make this more clear, what I will do is I will create another machine. Let's say class tablet. And this one says build self. Now, the thing is in tablet, you can't have build because normally we don't do developments on tablets. One of the main reasons we use tablets is to read. I mean, that's what I'm using it for. So I will say open PDF or any other ebook format or whatever. I will simply say print opening PDF. Okay. Now what happens is, let's say in your company, you got this tab. So the tab which I'm using on the desk is from Lenovo. Again, not sponsored, waiting for them. So I will say Lenovo tab equal to tablet. I don't know why I'm sounding like waiting for the sponsors. Maybe I am. Okay, so Lenovo tablet and here I will say Naveen dot code. And now for coding, if you pass the object of Lenovo tab, let me comment the beast part now. The question is, will this work? Logically, it should not work. But then if you run this, it will not work. You know why? Because this particular bird is not quacking. In our sense, quacking was build and this particular tablet is not building. And that's why it is failing. Okay, so desktop and laptop both are ducks because they both are quacking. This tablet is not quacking and that's what it's called duck typing. So it needs one thing, but it can have different behavior based on which objects you pass. If you pass the object of laptop, it will behave like this. If you pass the object of desktop, it will behave like this. And that's my friend polymorphism with the help of duck typing. So I hope it makes sense. See you in the next part.